Hi, my name is Aya, you're watching Aya Reads, and I'm here to talk about my 2023 goals and I'm gonna walk you through them and tell you whether or not I achieved my goals. And then I'm gonna talk about my 10 2024 goals. Before we get started, I would really appreciate it if you liked this video, if you liked it, because that really helps me out. And let's get started. So in 2023, I do have to say, I did not start my booktube channel up until at the end of June of last year. I used to have a booktube channel and this year I decided I wanted to start again, but I did not know this at the beginning of 2023. So I had like a small amount of reading goals and I was fine either way, whether or not I achieved those goals. And my plan was to just stick to those two goals. And I was doing pretty well until I started my booktube channel up again, but I'm gonna walk you through that. My first was my Goodreads goal. My plan was to read 100 books this year and I actually achieved it by spades because I read 168 books this year. I read a lot this year and I believe this is the only the second time that I actually achieved reading over 100 books and the fact that I almost read 200 books this year was a great feat for me. My second goal was to read 20 books that were published before 2014 that were on my shelves. So basically I have a lot of books that I bought at the very beginning of my booktube channel around 2014 and I have not read those yet. My plan was, you know, I bought them for a reason. I'm sure I'll like them. So instead of them, just keep collecting dust on my shelves. I just want to at least try them. If I don't like them, then I would be free to DNF and we, we just move on our merry way. But I did at least want to try them. Uh, so I ended up reading 11 books that were published before 2014. So I did not reach this goal. For next year, I'm going to get into that next obviously, but I'm going to change this goal a little bit because if we're talking about books that I removed from my shelves that were published before 2014, then I did achieve this goal. But since that was not <laughs> this goal, I did not achieve it. So I'm going to tell you about the 11 books. Um, I read Born Wicked. And oh, no, actually I only read 10 books. So half. The first one was The Alchemist. I read in January and I gave it one star and I unhauled it. The second book was Blood and Chocolate. I also tried to read this in January, but I DNF'd it. The third book was Why We Broke Up. I tried to read this in February and I DNF'd it. Poison Princess, I tried to read in May of 2023 and I DNF'd it. The Extraordinary Secrets of April, May and June, I read in May and I gave it three stars and I unhauled this. On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves, I read in June and I gave it four stars. The Treachery of Beautiful Things, I read in August and I gave it three stars. The Assassin's Curse, I read in September and I gave it four stars. The Pirate's Wish, I also read in September and I gave it four stars. The last three books I talked about I actually read in my video where I read books from my first ever book haul. So definitely check that out if you want to know more of my in-depth thoughts. And then the last one was Raised by Wolves, which I read in October and I gave it three stars. So I'm gonna talk about this goal again in my 2024 goals, but we'll get to that. Now for my series goal, this makes me sad because I did wanna make a concerted effort to really, really cut down on my series I was reading. And I did not really achieve this goal, mainly because of all the series I started. And I do have to say, I do blame that on me starting my booktube channel again, because it's so easy for me to start series up again. And also the Goodreads Choice Awards really mess with this goal because a lot of books I read for that video started new series for me. And I did do a separate video of all my series. So this is like an overview. If you want to know more about the series I started, I finished, I DNF, definitely check that video out. I'll leave it linked for you. But I started the year off with 59 open series. So open series means series that I still need to read books for. So closed series for me are either series I finished or series that I'm all caught up on. So I started the year with 59 open series. And my goal was to end the year with 30 open series. So I did end up closing 23 series and DNFing 15. So technically I did achieve this goal, but the problem is I also started 27 new series. <laughs> I do have to say some of them I also DNFed or finished. And if you want to know, like I said, check that video, series video out because I will give you all the details. But at the end of the day, I ended the year with 48 open series. So that means that is less than I started with. So I started with 59 and now I have 48. So that is 11 less than what I started with. So 
it is better than last year. But yeah, obviously I did not reach the school and this does make me sad because I do feel like I feel stressed when I have so many open series. I did change the way I view my series now because I split my series up in priority and not priority. I can actually show you. So basically priority means those are books or series where I can just pick up the next book without having reread anything unless I really want to. And not priority series are series where I would have to reread a lot. So, and so usually those are series that I started years ago. So as you can see this uh, at the very top are the years where I started this. I totally stole from Meg with books, by the way, which I'll leave her linked. Basically it's color coded and these are all the colors. So, so these are all my not priority, meaning like for example, Mortal Instruments. Although I do have to say, I'm gonna get into that with my next goals. I'm not gonna be rereading City of Bones, City of Ashes of City or, or City of Glass. I did that a million times. But for example, Blood of Eden, Snow Like Ashes, Cinder, I would have to reread the first book to continue on. So those are my not priority. Then these are the series that I'm all caught up on. So it's not a lot. And then these are all my priority series. So as you can see, it's still a lot. And as you can see, I already started four new series, but that is the problem for another time. Okay, so I'm editing and I realized that I showed you the priority and not priority series without actually talking about my goals. And I also forgot to talk about my Goodreads goals. So let's do that. My two goals as far as series are concerned is to get to 10 priority series that I still need to finish. So right now, or I started 2024 with 28 series that are priority that I still need to finish. And the goal is to get to 10. So that means without starting any other series, I still need to finish 18. Obviously I will be starting new series, I already did. So yeah, the goal is by the end of 2024 to only have 10 priority series. And my goal is, so right now, or at the beginning of 2024, I had 20 series that are that were open that were not priority. And the goal is to have 15 series by the end of 2024 that are not priority. So the goal is to finish five series that are not priority. And my end goal is to eventually have zero series that are not priority, but it's going to take probably years for me to get to that point. But as far as my Goodreads reading goal is concerned, I have one but technically two. So basically I my Goodreads goal for now is to read 150 books. My reach goal is 200. I'm not sure that I can reach that, but never say never, obviously. Last year, as you could see, I read 168, so I was not that far off. But a personal goal of mine is to be more social, to go out more. So usually those goals are in opposition of each other because... The reason why I read so many books and I've never read any more books than this in my life is because my social life was struggling a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. For now, it's 150. I do think I can reach that goal. But if I could get to 200, that would be phenomenal. But for now, on Goodreads, it's actually 150. So, yeah. Back to forgetful <laughs> Aya from the past. Then my next goal is, and this is in exact opposition of my series um, goal, but it's to have no books recommended over 150 times in my recommendations list. I started the year off with 16 books that were recommended over 150 times. I do have to say, since I already started four series, I think all of them were in my recommendations list. That number is down already, but I already talked about my recommendations list. I'll leave that video linked for you. But basically, this is a list of every single book that has been recommended to me. And I just don't want to have books that have been recommended over 150 times. <laughs> My ultimate goal is to, if a book has been recommended around 50 times, I would have already read it. Stuff like, like something like that. Because chances are I'm going to really love these books. They have been recommended for a reason. So I just want to read them and I don't want, because right now, as you can see, I ha even have books that have been recommended over 200 times and that is just ridiculous to me. In fact, books that have been recommended over 200 times were the Chestnut Spring series, which I really, really loved. So I just want to also cut this down a little bit. I technically, I want, once again, just same with my not priority series goal. It's going to take me years, but I want to get to a point where I don't have any books that are recommended over 100 times. And if I do, then I'm going to read them as soon as possible. 
I do have to say, this is not up to me if it gets added to 150 because it depends on people recommending. So as you can see, Filthy by Serena Ackroyd plus Flow and Grip plus Priest plus Ruthless Stranger, they are all gonna be recommended 150 times if only a couple people recommend them for me. But still at the end of the year, I don't wanna have any books that are recommended over 150 times. The reason this is in exact opposition to my series goal is as you can see, most of them are series because that is the way I read. So I lump series together even in my recommendations form. And that is one of the reasons why they've been recommended so many times is because they are part of a series. Because anytime, like for example, let's do the Ice Prime. Planet Barbarians ones. In fact, it's Ice Planet Barbarians plus Ice Home. Anytime somebody mentions any of the books in this series, very long series I might add, it gets added to the spreadsheet. So it's very easy for it to achieve more than 150 times recommended, but that's okay. Hopefully I can achieve both those goals, but we'll see if that's even possible. Moving on to my next goal is to remove 30 books published before 2018. So this is similar to the other goal, of 2023, but at this time, I'm, I just want to remove them from my shelves, whether that be through me actually reading it, and therefore it's not an, an unread book anymore, or it's through me just unhauling it. And the reason I picked 2018 is because it was around that time where I started pivoting a little bit towards romance. So chances are books that have been published before 2018, I purchased them around that time and they are mostly young adult books. So yeah, I feel like that's a more realistic goal and it's very, it's more realistic for me to actually achieve it. I do prefer actually reading them, but I know it's, I'm probably not gonna read 30 books published before 2018 that were already on my shelves. Removing them is a good alternative. Then I really wanna reread 30 books. I'm gonna have a separate video of me talking about all the books I'm planning on rereading, but I do love rereading. I love revisiting stories that I've loved in the past. I also love rewatching movies and rewatching TV shows. So, and I feel like since, especially with booktube, it's easy to read all the new stuff, but I do wanna make time to reread my favorites. Then I really wanna finish, or at least get a good way through the Shadowhunters universe. Because as you can see by my series list, I started that series in 2013. So it has been 10 years that I have not finished this series. That is not acceptable in my opinion. And I would have DNF this series a long time ago if I did not love the Infernal Devices so much. So I do know that I love Sandra Clare's writing and especially her historical books. I do really love them, but the Mortal, the, the mortal Instruments is just not my favorite, but I do wanna just read them because I do know there are characters from the Infernal Devices that do make appearances in the Mortal Instruments. And I tried this two times in the past. In fact, I reread the first three books multiple times because I was planning on continuing on. So, so far I've never really continued on, but this time I'm just gonna start. I'm not gonna reread the first three. I think I'm just gonna watch a recap on YouTube or read a recap and then just continue with, start with City of Fallen Angels, and I'm just gonna read them in order of publication date, meaning I'm gonna be rereading the Infernal Devices in between, so that will just keep me accountable, and that means that hopefully I will really, really, really get to them, because I have an added incentive of knowing that I can read the next book in the Infernal Devices if I finish one of the Mortal Instruments. After the Mortal Instruments, I really wanna read her other two series that she's published, so hopefully I can get to that in 2024. Then I, my goal is to read at least 50 books that were published in 2024, so new releases, and most of them are gonna be romances. I just wanna be, be more up to date on the new releases. Obviously I make booktube videos. I know that if you talk about new releases, people are gonna click on your videos. And also I kinda wanna avoid what happened with the Goodreads Choice Awards. I just want to read like a couple extra books for that video instead of me reading, trying to read the entire 20 and not succeeding. So yeah, I just wanna be more up to date and that way I can recommend you guys books that you should pick up or avoid. Then I've just been missing a lot of fantasy in my life. I Last year I didn't read nearly as many fantasy books as I wanted to. So this year I do wanna read more fantasy and fantasy romance or romanticy. So my goal is to read 50, at least 50 fantasy and or romanticy. I just love that genre. And like I said, I just don't read enough of it. And hopefully this goal will get me to read more of them. Then I want to read the backlist of at least five authors. I love reading authors backlist and I feel like I don't do them enough. And I have a couple of options and this can change. This is definitely not set in stone. 
but I just want to read the backlist of five authors this year and let's see if I can actually accomplish that. The first one is Elsie Silver. This is very easy because it's only one series that I would still need to read to have read all her backlist. Lee Bardugo is one that I'm interested in reading all her backlist. Sam Mariano, Talia Hibbard, Lauren Asher, Harley LaRue, which is also pretty easy for me to read her backlist. Nikki Sloan and Lainey Taylor. Yeah, those ones are contenders. And maybe if there's somebody else, maybe TJ Klune, but I do wanna read more backlist, so maybe I can also make a video about that. Then I wanna read at least four fan fictions. I read three fan fictions last year. Since most fan fictions I'm interested in are very long, I'm just gonna put it at four. Hopefully I'll reach that goal. And maybe I'll even read more, but for now I'm just gonna put four and I would be happy if I read those four. And then I wanna read more audiobooks, listen to more audiobooks. I wish I could listen to audiobooks because I know that that would just add so much to my reading. It would add so much to my reading total. I know this, but I just cannot really concentrate on audiobooks. I know I'll never probably be an audiobook girly, but I do wanna try and read more audiobooks, whether that be just listening to them or listening and reading book reading the book at the same time so my goal is to read at least or listen to at least 10 audiobooks i already started one and it's one of those uh, audiobook novella audiobook novella so it's the kennedy ryan one i think i'm gonna start with that because it's short so my attention span doesn't need to be that long and i can finish them easier so I think I'm gonna just start with that plus there are a couple of classics I really want to read and I know audible originals have has has done like a line of actual actors reading those out loud so I think I'm gonna definitely listen and read those classics at the same time so I think I can reach this goal but it's one I put it in here because I, I do need to remind myself I don't reach for audiobooks easily because it's not really something I am used to so yeah, those were all my goals. There are a lot. I don't anticipate me finishing all of these goals, especially since some of them are in the complete opposition of the other ones. Like for example, the books that have been recommended, like I said, they're already in opposition to the finished series goal, but it's also in opposition of the read at least 50 books published for 2024, because most of those books are definitely, definitely backlist because that is usually the only way unless it's a very 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 hyped book to book like the chestnut spring series or the windy city series usually it takes years for a book to reach <laughs> the first page or to reach the 150 times recommended for me but i don't know we'll see like i said i'm very excited about these goals some of them i've already made progress in so that is good and yeah i hope i can achieve some of them. Definitely let me know in the comments below what you think of my goals. Do you think I can achieve them? But what I'm most interested in is what are your goal reading goals this year? I would really love to know and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.